Hi my beautiful people, I'm just stopping in today because today was my raw vegan day. As some of you may know, once per week, I try to go raw vegan. And I do this because I can feel the benefits in my body. I just decided to do it one week and then all of a sudden it became a weekly thing because I felt the difference. I feel even more energized from raw foods than cooked foods. Uh, so yeah, I try to do it every week and I just want to inspire you a little bit with some of these recipes I did today. So some of them, you may have seen them before and some of them you may have not seen them. But even if you've seen them before, you just might see a little chubby vegan tweak to it that may inspire you to try it. All right, so come on, let's go. Raw vegan day. So one thing you may not know about me is that I actually break my fast at 12 o'clock each day. Even if I don't get exactly to 12 o'clock each day, it's somewhere between the 11 a.m. to 12 noon vicinity, I break my fast. Today, I broke my fast with a fruit bowl. So it's a nice, easy way to break my fast to get my stomach working again because my stomach stopped working since the night before and I don't want to just jolt it into work again, you know? So I ease it into work with a fruit bowl. In my fruit bowl, I just have some dragon fruit, watermelon and kiwi with a sprinkle of lime. That sprinkle of lime, of lime don't take it for granted. It does wonders to your fruit bowl. Oh, and my fruit bowl, this held me for about two hours. Then for lunch, I had some spaghetti and minced meat, <laughs> raw vegan style. So I started by soaking my walnuts. My walnut is my vegan meat for today. So I soaked my walnuts in hot water for about three hours. And then I just add it to my food processor with a whole bunch of seasonings. Any seasonings you want, that's fine. I used homemade green seasoning. I used shadow benny and sai from my garden. I used some tomatoes and some pepper sauce, homemade pepper sauce, of course. Some salt, a little bit of steak seasoning, uh, black pepper, there's turmeric in there. So you can add and play around with flavors any way you want. Oh, and there's also lime in here. So all you have to do is just put it in your food processor and pulse it to the consistency you want and there you have it, your meat. So I'm having my meat with some carrot spaghetti and in my carrot spaghetti I have some onions and I have yellow bell peppers, red bell peppers, I have flavor peppers. And what I did to prepare my uh, raw spaghetti is that I put all of those ingredients into a bowl of hot water for about 20 minutes. So my carrot, my bell peppers and my onions, that's my spaghetti. I let it sit in a, hot, in a bowl with hot water for about 20 minutes. Then I drained it and my spaghetti was ready. I'm having it with a tahini sauce. My tahini sauce is so simple. All you need is tahini, which is ground sesame seeds and a little bit of water, some lime juice, and some salt. That's it. It's an awesome sauce. You just taste it. If you need some more salt, you can add. And yeah, and you can add other seasonings as well to this. You can add Cajun seasoning. You can add pepper sauce, green seasoning. I love tahini sauce. It's a nice creamy sauce. So I just wanted to share with you a way that you can take that lunch and remix it. Uh, and carry it to work. If you are not working from home and you have to go out to work, you can take that exact recipe I did for lunch and make it into little kale tacos. All right, so you can put your tahini sauce in a little container and yeah, put some pineapple salsa on top and there you have a nice raw lunch to take to work. So on to dinner. So I had some leftover walnut meat from lunch and I decided to take it and use it for dinner and I made some heavy loaded tacos. So what I did, I had some bell peppers and onions and I put those in hot water to sit for 20 minutes and I massaged my kale with olive oil. I made some pineapple salsa with some red onions and I'm reusing my walnut meat, my raw walnut meat. Avocados are always good and I also did some cucumber noodles. So my tacos are fully, fully loaded. Remember to massage your kale. It helps with digestion and it makes it taste so much better. All right, so I'm using dinosaur kale and i have cucumber noodles in here i also have my bell peppers and onions and my taco meat and avocado 
and to top it all off i have my pineapple salsa and i use my tahini sauce on top of that and it was so good this is so good you have no idea you need to try it i had six tacos and i'm so full and it's not the type of full where you feel groggy and sleepy it's the type of full where you feel energized so i hope you try these meals and remember if you're gonna do a raw day to try to keep your calorie count high try to eat lots of fruits lots of veggies don't just eat a little you, you have to eat a lot of it all right so yeah i hope i inspired you a little bit and if i did yeah share share with me uh follow me on instagram for continued inspirations every every day i would inspire you so i will link in the description box my instagram page where you can follow me bye beautiful people